All right, so we're gonna make sure this is recording. So we're gonna take out this Springfield Dark Horse, it's called. So this ought to be interesting. Carl, I think you'll uh, pretty much particularly like this demo ride. You'll be happy to see this one take place. I get to take this out. A lot of the bikes are pretty locked up, so I'm gonna try and I just gotta try and get what I can in as best I can. Put this in here. So Anyhow, so this is what we're going to take out. It's a little circle around it real quick. So you can see. Pretty nice bike. I'll do a little bit of walk around next time. Yes! Dark horse. Button. Thank you. On and on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you, sir. Really nice. Now, so let's see. Accessorize with uh, stage one performance air cleaner, uh, stage two performance cams. Put the kickstand up. Uh, we have we have Thunderstroke. Stage one slip on kit. Slip on kit. Okay. Now we also have exhaust shields, which is nice. Straight exhaust tips. Now we're gonna, at the end of the video, we'll get back there and take another look at that. Total cost is $22.79.95. Okay. It's got a Thunderstroke power, uh, Thunderstroke 111. Premium standard feature, 60 blacked out style, and open front fender, 19 inch 10 spoke wheels. We'll take a look at that later. Uh, remote lock and hard bags, saddlebags, quick release, windshield, black front and rear highway bars. You saw those bars in the back. These right here, pretty nice. Uh, ABS cruise control, TPMS, keyless ignition. Somebody keeps blowing a horn. And you got the little black uh, fuel cover doors here, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's full of fuel gas tank gauge cruise control mirrors we got mirrors and i can see out my mirror my buddy's right behind me glass windshield typical of a spring field black hawk looking at you buddy it's all black blacked out buddy you want to trade that 2016 in uh springfield in or what what you going to do let's let's turn on the let's turn on the fogs they on yeah it look like they on oh no they're on they should be on now yeah, we're gonna turn on the, the, the driving lights. Yeah, man, Blackhawk, this one's for you, baby. We got that uh, that Springfield we recording. Mike is in. Cause last time, you know, I did that video. I did a video with R9T and my and my mic wasn't in. So now I gotta ride it. I'm gonna ride it over again. But you know what? Let me tell you, ride it over again is a pleasure. So how the bars feel, man? These bars actually feel pretty good. Nice and relaxed. Like, look at my arms. I'm just kind of kind of stretching them out a little bit you're gonna rotate this down a little more right rotate down is that too much well it shouldn't be anyway we're gonna rotate it down a little more you might see a little more of the tank 
I really can't check right now, but I do hope it works out for you guys. Oh man, my phone's in my pocket. All right, that's better. I just turn it to the side. Pray to God it don't fall out. God, please don't let my phone fall out. That's all I ask. I ask you, please don't let it fall out. All right, so we're gonna take off. Let's see how this feels. Go to my buddy Blackhawk. This is one heavy bike. Got here a little later than I probably should have, so I couldn't really get on many of the other demo rides. But I did get one with BMW, two, with, one with BMW, and I'm gonna be taking out a Jixxer 750, which ought to be interesting. And uh, the rest of the time, we're kind of just be enjoying ourselves. So this has got some. Uh, we are at a 2018 a Mercade, which is always nice. Feels nicely balanced. I guess with all this throttles, like kind of responsive. Huh. Gonna go to the left here. Woohoo! Oh man, it sounds nice. It sounds nice. Oh, something in my eye. Yeah, it really does sound a nice sounding bike. I like the pipes. I'm seeing just over the shield. And hopefully, uh, hopefully that comes out good for you guys. As far as what you can see. Today's actually a nice day. It's about 71 degrees. Yesterday was a little bit chilly. You know, the Springfield, last time I rode it was a bike I really did enjoy. I did enjoy riding it. It was fun to ride. And uh, I really couldn't complain. I didn't have anything bad to say about the bike, to tell you the truth. This one, you know what? I wanted to ride it. I didn't even realize, not for nothing, I didn't realize that, uh, that it had a lot of these goodies in there. I didn't realize I had a lot of these goodies in there. Swap, swap. Yeah, I didn't realize I had a lot of these goodies in there. Just had to tell my buddy behind me to swap over because they, they changed the uh, positioning over here. A uh, stagger. Woohoo! Hello, baby! I should lift this up so you can hear a little better, right? Let you get a little... I mean, I know I know for a fact the audio comes in a little bit better when I uh, put the shield up. So we'll leave it up until we get on a highway or a portion thereof. You know. So. So I'm sitting in the seat and the seat has this little uh, indentation in the back, I guess, slightly of a raise for the passenger seat. Yes, it does. And it feels pretty good. It feels uh, actually pretty supportive. I don't feel like I'm going to slide up that indentation or back into the seat. Okay, so second gear, it's got the goose. First gear isn't bad, second gear is definitely it. When we get into the twisty stuff, I'm just gonna take it easy. But here I know we're gonna get on a highway because I've been through this already. We gotta close this up. We're, actually, we'll keep it open for a little bit. When we get on a highway, we're gonna, we should be opening it up. So I'll leave this open so that we can listen, get a nice, sound for what the bike sounds like which is always nice oh I should have went down a gear right but she still takes off pretty nice doesn't it slow up a little bit it's supposed to be staggered should have been at least still here but I'll wait till when they hit it, then I'll hit it. Alright. Woo! Man! Oh shit, what the hell is he doing? Did you see that? 
when he hit the brake and I thought the front was gonna do a damn endo you see the back of it freaking come up in the air it's like oh shit Sounds good, sounds good. It sounds like you're alive. Oh man. We're doing doing 60. Now, how's it cruise? Let's see. Fifth gear. Cruising fifth gear uh 62 or so miles an hour. Man, those performance features really do make a difference. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo! Oh man. I just love the tone. The tone alone sounds awesome. <laughs> oh man. Bars feel comfortable. No complaints at all. Bars feel really good. I could ride. These bars, I don't even, I wouldn't even change them. I'll ride with them just like this. I think if you got this bike with these bars and, you know, depending on how they fit you and you need to change, it may be just for aesthetics reasons, you know, just because you prefer the look of a different bar, but how they are, it feels great. They've got really good pullback. Shoot. If I could fit these on my V-Star, I'd probably take them, swap right to them, but they look they look way too big just looking at them they need the diameter here way too big beautiful bike though I must say just looking at it I, I was looking at the pack and I was like man which one am I gonna take and I saw this and I said yeah I'm gonna take that one we're in fourth gear we're gonna exit here I said yeah Bruce is going to take that one right there. <laughs> I already knew I was going to take that one. Definitely. I was like, I like the look of that all black one. But I thought it was, uh, I don't know. I didn't think it was a Springfield Dark Horse. Honestly, I really wasn't sure what the, which model it was. Because I don't really know the Indian lineup all that great. I mean, I know the, most of the bikes. But it's not like I really follow them and, you know and such so the idol though the idol sounds amazing I mean just listening to it bum, 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 bum. Eh, flipping the throttle that's one thing but the idol the idle sounds great. I could live with this idle. This needs a good amount of gas to get her going. Yeah. Good amount of gas. Get her going. Single file. So here is the twisty section. You know, it is usually where they let you get a little feel for how the bike handles, you know, what the bike is doing, which is always nice. And I like to take my time through here, only because sometimes it takes a little while to adjust to what the bike is doing. So see some people mountain biking there off in the distance up there I just saw the movement and wondering what it was let's go ahead really nice cruising on through here Suspension feels good. I really can't complain. Feels like a really nice bike. I didn't realize I was in fourth. I 
think I think third would be better to to a better gear to be in. Right? Yeah, third. Okay. I mean, it's not like it had a problem cruising through there at all. It just I wanted just a little bit more responsiveness. So third gear, where I'm at now, I don't feel much vi I mean the bike feels alive, you know, there's vibration, there's movement, you know, there's just a little bit of everything. And I really like that. That cools my visor. Stuff keeps getting in my eye. And I really like that. I really like the personality of this bike. It has a lot of personality. And you know, it's because they added these mods to it, which are things that we usually do. We usually add things to the bike to give it that that character and it's something that we always struggle for with any motorcycle that we purchase no matter what it is the unique thing that we do to it is give it just a little bit more character to release that character sometimes you can sometimes you can't so let's listen to the bike for a bit That's why I had to break up. I do feel the Chief Vintage that I rode, which hopefully if I, my, I didn't mess up the audio on that video, I feel that bike handled better. I don't know, in my opinion, it felt it's a little bit more balanced with transitions. Why? I'm not sure. Just what I feel. Like, I really couldn't tell you why. Maybe this is probably, I don't know. I don't want to wrongly judge the bike or, it kind of feels like this would be more of a highway bike, a far, far ride bike. A lot of miles. I can't tell you I'd want to push it through any twisties, but I'm pretty sure in the hands of any capable rider, it could handle anything you want to throw at it. I don't know, third doesn't seem that great through here. It kind of just seems like fourth is a little bit better. liking it through the turns that much but that may just be me not being used to the bike so I wouldn't want to give anything put any negatives towards the bike um, over that and that's probably just me and my comfort level you know I have a comfort level that it can either be raised or lowered depending on what I feel in the motorcycle and how I feel if you if it if that makes any sense to you guys uh, Kawi Vaccaro yes I think it, it's really uh, dependent on your uh, you know where your comfort level is but that aside it is a beautiful bike If you do get a chance to come out to Americade, check out the uh, check out the bikes. I definitely. Oh God damn! Did I just burn? The fuck did I touch or burn my freaking leg? Going on this side.
out here. I just touched something and burned my leg. I don't know what the freak that was. What the hell was that? I think that was that uh that little triangle piece right there. It didn't burn burn, but it burned burned. Anyway. Slow the speed down a little bit here. Taking our time, making our way down. I don't know what's up with this guy over here with this Indian jacket, but he keeps swapping from side to side and just confusing the living crap out of everybody. You hear the idol? There we go. All right. I'm just kind of staying back from those guys because this guy seems all right but I don't know about the other guy there so we're just gonna kind of pace our keep our distance the best we can and we'll go from there been a good two days up here been a really good day we, we've uh had some time to enjoy ourselves to enjoy the bikes let me ask my buddy what he thinks of that bike there how do you like it? I like the other two better yeah that's a hundred horsepower one? Oh, okay Good times, good times. Let's take your time, even though you're not staggered. They keep changing, they keep swapping, and I don't want to mess up my buddy behind me. You know, our safety is always gonna come first, so me constantly swishing back and forth, it's gonna be an issue. It messes with everybody all the way back, so. Great burgers and soda right here. Root beer. Really strong brakes. Man, I guess I need to bleed mine. Huh? Yeah. This is a nice one. It's got character, but I'm not too fond of it in the turns. Yeah. But you know, it, it my car, I feel like the comfort level. Yeah. I, I just took it easy. Yeah. But man, on a highway, oh, I could go. I think I could easy knock out 900 miles on this sucker, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Little dickhead revving. <laughs> oh boy. Anyhow. Not really that busy right now. Probably tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow, I think it ought to be really busy. Tomorrow's going to be Friday. There should be a lot of people out tomorrow. I think tomorrow there should be a lot of people. This guy, he's walking. His wife is behind him and he's like, oh, well, screw her. I'm just going to freaking walk wherever I freaking please. Like, oh, it's like, Jesus, at least turn around and look and see what the heck's going on with your wife. Right? You would think. I don't know. So let me give you a walk around here. Put the kickstand down, bike's in neutral. Press the button, shut it off. 
All right, let's take a look. Oh, man. I burned myself on something. I don't know what I burned myself on. It was like right here. But anyhow, here it is. There's the pipes here. There's the pipes. I'm taking. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll get my thing in a minute. Let me get it now. My buddy wants a picture. I'm coming. I'm coming. And here you go. You walk around. Here's the front with the lights. As you can see, really nice. There's that wheel that we were talking about. There's that wheel there, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice looking wheel. I use weights. Huh? huh? like it? It was nice, but uh, I think I like it more for highway cruising though. That corners, I'd take it easy, but that's just, I mean, that's just me. You want a picture? You want a picture?